Good morning, my liege. It's the beginning of a new day, full of new opportunity. Let's open up these windows. Get some fresh air and some light in, yeah? <sighs> it's a beautiful day outside. You have a meeting with a client at 10 o'clock and then lunch with your mother at 11.30. I've arranged for you to do it in the gardens. I think it would be beautiful to eat there. The flowers are in bloom and you'll get plenty of shade from the trees. Assuming lunch will end around 12.30, you'll have about four hours to work on any paperwork that you need to. And then five o'clock you have a fitting. After your fitting, you'll have a delicious dinner provided by me. And then plenty of time to yourself to do whatever you wish. Well, come on, sleepyhead, it's time to get up. My leash? Is something wrong? You're normally so ready to get to work. Are you not feeling well? Oh, your cheeks are flushed. Let me see. Just as I feared. You're burning up. That's it. I am wiping this sink clean. Nothing for you to do today. All you need to do is lay in bed and feel better. Now, you cannot fight me on this one. You have to stay in bed no matter what. I'm cancelling your meeting. I will reschedule it. And your mother, I'm sure, will understand. As for your fitting, I know that we can get it scheduled for later in the week. Until then, you need to stay in bed. Don't move a single muscle. I'll be right back with some soup. Now, here's some soup. I set it right here for you. Go ahead and give me your hand. I'll help you sit up. Let's fluff your pillows and pull over the sheets. Now you can be propped up. The broth is very good for you. It will help you get better a lot faster. Now what are your symptoms? Do you have sore throat, a sneeze, a cough, or is it just your stomach? Either way, I don't think you need to leave your bed today. I will take care of everything. Don't you worry. You need to take better care of yourself so you don't get sick like this. I bet you it's because you were working late last night. You didn't go to sleep until around 3 in the morning. That's not good for you. You must get your sleep. If you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to do your work, which I know you so desperately like to do. You might feel successful, but life isn't all about working yourself to the bone. Set healthy boundaries for yourself. And don't push yourself so hard that you're at your limit. Think of it as a machine's gauge. Green is everything is okay and working functionally. Yellow is for something isn't right and you should probably check on that. And red is the machine has malfunctioned. Right now, you're in the bed. Instead of listening to your body's needs and what it wants, you're in the bed because you let it get past the yellow. You've let your green gauge be too wide. And your yellow gauge is so small, it's barely existent. To the point where if someone was looking at your gauges on a machine, they would completely miss that it was in the yellow because it was in the green for so long. And now it's in red and it's too late to fix it. Allow yourself to have a wider yellow gauge. If something is wrong and making you unwell, then it's probably best that you stop and reassess your machine. If you don't show the yellow meter bigger, then the people who are trying to work with you and help you won't be able to help. How would they know it was supposed to be yellow? It looked green for so long. I know you're not a machine, but with the way you work, you could fool me. Now, I have my work cut out for me to make sure my machine is working again. 
First things first is to make sure you're fed, which it looks like I've done successfully. The next thing is to make sure that you don't overwork yourself today, which to me means no work at all. It can wait. Then I have to make sure you're comfortable. Now that you're done with your soup, why don't you lie back down? See ya. Get you all tucked in. Are there enough pillows? Do you need more? How's the blanket? Are you cold or hot? I brought a cold rag for the fever. And now, with your permission, I would like to try something else. I've read that head scratches are a great way to spoil someone when they are not feeling well. So if it pleases you, I would like to give that a try. Even if it's just for five minutes. And if you don't like it, I could stop at any point. I'm sure you're quite hesitant, but I promise to be gentle. Would that be all right? Well then, I'll sit right here and I'll give it a try. Make sure you're relaxed and comfortable and don't mind me. If you're worried about it being awkward, just close your eyes and imagine that you're somewhere else. Now, without further ado, I shall begin. How's this? Does it feel okay? Do you mind if I explore a little? Want to see if it feels better behind the ears? Or by the neck? right at the top of the head. <laughs> Judging by your reaction, I'm assuming you're enjoying this. Is there a certain spot that you like the most? Or does all over feel just as good? Well then, I will keep working hard. You just sit back and enjoy it. Let all your troubles melt away. Now that I have thoroughly messed up your hair, I think it's time for you to rest. Sleep well. I'll be back to check on you later. Sweet dreams, my liege. <laughs> 